The brightness of the day was in sharp contrast with the gloom of the people of Newington Street, terrified by what they see as a random sectarian attack. Terry McDade, his wife and his parents were watching television when gunmen forced their way into the house. They ran into the living room where they fired five or six shots, hitting Terry McDade in the chest and head and grazing his mother's ankle. He died a short while later. The gunmen escaped in a stolen car, which was abandoned in the Loyalist Shankill area. This morning, Terry McDade's grieving widow, Maura, supported by her mother, said her children still expected their daddy home and appealed for an end to the killing. That's all I ask of them. Why did you do it? And don't do it in anybody else's family. For God's sake, tell them to stop. SDLP councillor Brian Feeney blamed a faction of the UDA and warned locals to take great care. In an area like this, people leave their front doors open and the porch door is very easily burst open. People shouldn't answer the door at night. You should be very careful about leaving doors that people can burst through. But you're telling them to live in siege conditions? They are living in siege conditions. This place has been attacked on numerous occasions. With petrol bombs, gunfire and bottles. That's, that's the reality of life here.